All right, we're back. <laughs> what the fuck? Time for picks. I don't know what happened. We just lost a second. I was like, I don't want to talk about what we ate. Click, click, click. click. <laughs> That's not what I meant to do. I didn't know what I did. But anyway, I was trying to move the thing off his face because the, 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 the mouse was right on his face. And I'm trying to get it off his face. I don't know why, because it's not affecting him. But it was driving me up a wall. <laughs> That's called a Jedi session, boys and girls, when something that shouldn't annoy you drives you fucking crazy. No, it didn't like, drive you crazy. I tried you to move it. You were fucking high, and you're like, I was like Ooh, what's that little white thing? No, I knew what it was. I'm like, get off his face. It's bad. Like, it's going to itch. Like, he's going to scratch the scratch. It. First of all, <laughs> the video is not recording that little cursor. I know. That's the whole, That's the whole point. I'm looking to see if the red dots on when I look in the and I see that it's on. Um, anyway, <laughs> all right, pick. So we both picked. We both picked San Fran tonight, obviously. So we're one. We're one to zero. So we're going to go through these picks. Anybody America have a brain on the on the season. Team. He's got a three game lead. He's nineteen and eleven. I'm sixteen and fourteen after a better second week. So I got to keep on the ascend, ascend ascension here. Let's see what's going on this week. So we've got first one uh, Sunday afternoon. The Titans one and one uh, Tennessee at one and one Cleveland. Uh, Cleveland took a, a blow Monday night, losing arguably the to- a top two, three back in this league, Nick Chubb, for the season. That sucks. Um, I love Nick Chubb. I had him last year. Um, I knew at some point he'd get hurt. I didn't think it'd be season ending. I thought he missed like three or four weeks here. I think it'd be a season ending. That's, That's a disappointment. Thing. It sucks. Um, Cleveland still has a great offensive line. They still have a receiving court. They still have a defense. The question is, who the fuck is this quarterback they paid $230 million to? Because he looks nothing. And I thought, look. I said it. I thought he would play better. Now, he hasn't played terrible, but he hasn't played great either. Throwing under 200 yards a game. Yeah, he's not. I mean, now look, they're one of the, now now, to be fair, they're one of the best rushing. They're rushing for a lot of yards on the ground, too. So he's not throwing a lot. But still... He should be more accurate than he's been. Okay, well, I would say so. That. I immediately was thinking Cleveland, but now that we say that, now I get well. There's still the Ryan Tannehill fact. I know. And Cleveland's D, it's nasty. Yeah, and it's. Look, in I think the Titans' D is good. Well, so far, I mean, the Saints haven't played well on offense yet. They held them to 16. Uh, Who they beat last week? They played the Saints. They, played, they lost to the Saints in New Orleans. Yikes. Right point. And then they lost. At, no, they mm. won at home. Who did they beat? Uh. Um, Somebody we didn't think they were going to beat. We thought it was. Hold on, listen. They beat. They beat the Chargers, in overtime, by three. Now the problem is the Chargers don't have a D, <laughs> so at all. So they. Um, now, yeah, but that's pretty impressive to keep the Chargers D to what? Uh, twenty Chargers points. O to twenty four. Twenty four points. Well, not bad. That's that's decent. That's not terrible. All right. Well, I'm going Cleveland. All right. I'm going Cleveland as well. Next one, your boys two. 2-0 Atlanta Falcons at Detroit. This is going to be a Donnie because Detroit has to win this game because now Seattle was a playoff team last year. They came in, and, they, and Seattle had come off a of Ben Bears and lost. So the Detroit should have known yeah, they were going to get their Detroit, best punch. Yeah. The, the Detroit should have known they were going to get Seattle's best punch, and they, they didn't. Um, but it's in Detroit. Um, Detroit can throw it better than Atlanta can, and they both can run. Um, Detroit is one of the best offensive lines in football. Atlanta hasn't seen an offense like this. Um, so I'm going to go with Detroit. You might see Jameer Gibbs maybe step up because yeah. I'm pretty sure Montgomery's hurt. Yeah, I think he's going to play a lot because I don't know Montgomery's going to play a lot. So, Look, I hope so. That kid's got talent. Um, yeah, it feels like they've been had, they, Yeah, they've been saving him. But that's why you have to have two backs in this league now because at some point one of them gets hurt. So I mean, Montgomery's um, had a good two games. So Yeah. He's good, but yeah. he just hopefully it's not he's not going to be out too long. But it just that, seems like the other guy could be a game breaker. Oh, the other guy looks like it. He's got yeah. the he he fits the role. Um, so we both got Detroit on that one. Next one, New Orleans at Green Bay. This is interesting. Um, going Green on. Bay lost at Atlanta by a point uh, last week. They're at home. Um, I don't look. New Orleans uh, defensively, we know they're legit. They've got a lot of weapons on offense. I don't know why or what they're doing, but they should be better than they are. Um, and that's the problem because I don't know that they're going to be better than they are because I don't know what the fuck they're trying to do. Derek Carr is the issue. Yeah, I think. I think he's. the I issue. I mean, if we, you know, not to. I'm, I like. I don't like. I'm going Green Bay in this game. If we, you know, Christian Watson might come back. That's his number one, Jordan Love. And Jordan Love's played good football without his number one receiver. Derek Carr so far completing only sixty three percent of his passes. One touchdown, two picks. His rating is 80. One touchdown, two picks. He has Olave. He has Thomas, who's finally fucking healthy. Um, 
you know, he's got J- Jamal. Wait, well, he got hurt, didn't he? Jamal Winston hurt. Yeah, he did get yeah. hurt. Uh, but he's still got Taysom Hill, who still doesn't identify as a, as a position. He's a tight end. He's a tight end now. Is that what he is? Yeah. Uh, fucking Which crazy. is interesting. Yeah. So, so who do you like? Um, I like Green Bay. Okay. Because I don't know what that offense is doing. We both picked them last week, and they and they blew it. I, well, they lost by a point. <laughs> I mean, uh, I'm not going to – that was a close game. Um, so the next one – That was in Atlanta, too. Yeah. Next one, um, Denver at Miami – we laughed about this down at Creek Amores. We both got Miami in that one. Yeah. I'm not going to waste my time on that. Uh, now, this is interesting. The Chargers at Minnesota. <laughs> no defense against no defense. No, this, I said 48-45. <laughs> and if you're combing the fantasy wire, these are two raw rosters you might want to look at because these defenses suck sideways, <laughs> and they show no signs of slowing anyone down. This might be who gets the ball last wins. This might be that. I, I guess I'm going to go with – it's in Minnesota? It's in Minnesota. All right, I'm going to go with that. I would say by default Minnesota has the better coach. This guy should have been fired last year, two years ago. That's a good point. How he's still fucking there, I don't know. But I can't see with that guy running the ship, them going into Minnesota and winning. So I got Minnesota. <laughs> um, big one, 1 o'clock Sunday afternoon, the 0-2 Patriots. Ha, 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 fuck you, NFL Nation. Oh, against the 1-1 one one Jets. Everyone is praying for the Jets to win to salvage their season. Um, the Patriots season is on the line, too, here, because they go 0-3. And, and by the way, there's a small part of me that wants them to lose this game because I think Belichick will officially be on the hot seat if they lose this game. Mm, they go 0-3. If they go on three, he's on the hot seat. He's officially, openly on the hot seat. <laughs> yeah. to lose this game because and, and, and the three is a loss to Zach Wilson. Zach Wilson, oh my God! And people that are would, go, Hang I on. would tell you if he, if Bill Belichick loses this game on Sunday, <laughs> this will destroy his reputation. <laughs> it will destroy. Him. <laughs> and part of me wants it to happen. <laughs> it's, but not, I, it's not going to. But I it can't no. Because, because at the end of the day, the Patriots, Mac Jones has been playing very well, and I think that the Jets off defense is going to get gassed because they're going to be in the field the whole fucking game. The Pats defense, um, who did a great job of stopping Miami's passing game but gave up the run, they know Brees Hall is the key here. You're going to stop Brees Hall and make this kid throw. So they're going to stack the box, and they're going to make this kid do, and they're going to double-team Garrett. Yeah. So they're going to make this kid beat him doing something he can't do, which is read a defense and go to his third and fourth option. That's what Belichick's going to do. How do you think Wilson would fare if he started running a little more? It's his best option is to do RPO where he can run one, two reads and put it, to, tuck it down, get five yards and slide. I think they need That'd more be their best that. play. They need more of that. They have to do that. Now, the Pats have to understand that if the Jets have a brain, that's what they should do. So be anticipating that because that's yeah. really the only way the Jets can win. If the Jets keep doing what they're doing, this is going to get ugly. Well, because um, every time he drops back, if it's not the first option, it's like... You know, Sayonara. I don't know how many of the um, football shows you watched this week, but I swear to God, every damn one of them said the same thing. In the third quarter of that game in Dallas, it was 10-7. to 7. The Jets had only run the ball about 13 times. You're three points down. Their defense kept Their them, defense in, the kept them in that game. game until these clowns panicked at 10-7 to 7 and decided and we had to turn this guy into Tom Brady. And it was pick, 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 game over. Oh, so right, we both have the Pats. We both have the Pats. Next one. I, I have a hard time picking the Jets with Zach Wilson. It's hard. Although they might beat the Giants. No, they might beat the Giants. Uh, Buffalo at Washington. We were talking about this. You like Washington. I like love Washington in this game. Um, the uh, Josh Allen defiantly... <laughs> bragged about the about lighting up the Raiders defense. Did he? What did he say? Just like, yeah, see, I play my way, and, yeah, we're, we're, we're all good. We're, we're fine. You saw what happened today. Laser show. Like, <laughs> he did not say laser show. He didn't say show. laser show, but he might as well. <laughs> he said everything but, like, yeah, that's the way. I got to play like free. like the Max Scherzer laser show? He's like, show? no, I got to play free. I got to be who I am. I got to not overthink it. I got to let it rip. And I'm just like, that's the Raiders. <laughs> Everybody's going to do that against the fucking Raiders. Who gives a you shit? better overthink some shit against this next week's Yeah, team. I got news for you. This ain't the fucking Raiders you're playing on Sunday, pal. This team has a healthy Chase Young, and it has an offense loaded with weapons, and it has a coordinator that knows how to use them. Okay? I got news for you. Washington's winning this game. 
they are winning this game. So. J- Josh Allen has this false sense of oh no. Washington hasn't hasn't played anybody good. Well, who the hell is who the hell is Buffalo played the Jets without they lost Rodgers they lost to a team without Rodgers yeah but, but and they beat and they beat the Raiders no but the at home Buffalo is proven proven what they since last year we know they're Buffalo a playoff team. has never gotten to the AFC title they're a playoff team talent wise they are right that's all I'm saying I, I'm not questioning their talent I'm questioning this <laughs> okay okay. And I don't think and Dude, I the fucking the, the commanders give me a break. Commanders have a good defense. They have they have an offense. They're they are captained by River Rote, River Boat, Moron Rivera, <laughs> who doesn't look any dumber than Josh Allen. Yes, I does. might add, Josh Allen, who kept saying it through four picks. When he again. didn't know um, that they were still in a playoff hunt, he looked dumber than Josh Allen. Oh, Josh Allen's right. pretty dumb. Commanders, Bills. Next one. Uh, Houston at Jacksonville. Jacksonville. Yikes. Jacksonville. Mm. I'd like uh, to pick Houston. No way. The Jacksonville just came off a loss where those guys dropped touchdown passes. I don't anticipate that happening again. Um, I'm just over the Jags. I know you are. It's because week three, he's over the Jags. <laughs> well, because it's like, why are y'all acting like a bunch of fucking weak asses? I don't know. You're supposed to be the second coming. You are. You got enough talent to do it. Yeah. Um, next one, Indianapolis at Baltimore. 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 Um, Carolina at Seattle. 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 Chicago. Oh, what's his face? Bryce Young isn't playing. He's uh, yeah. I thought I saw his right. Yeah, that's gonna be ugly. Um, it's gonna be Andy Dalton. It might be better. I don't think so. Um, Andy Dalton sucks. What's um, the next one? Chicago at KC. KC. <laughs> um, Dallas at Arizona. Dallas. Shit games. Uh, Pittsburgh at Vegas. Pittsburgh. I don't know. This one, this one's tricky. Why? Because Vegas at home has the offense to light them up. They don't have a defense, but they have an offense. Pittsburgh. Um, Pittsburgh has given up some points. Pittsburgh's given up some points, and their coordinator doesn't know how to use what he has. Who is their OC? Anybody? He was there when Roethlisberger was the quarterback. We're different about quarterback, him. different system, different. He does, this guy ain't him. He's he's effective, but he's different type of player. You got to, mm-hmm. you know, and 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 Orlovsky nailed it. You know, you got to as a coordinator, you you build around the strengths of your quarterback. You don't try and make him play another system that's not conducive to what he does. You got to change that up. I think and, Pittsburgh's D wins that game. I'm on the fence. About I mean, what did what did Vegas put up against the Bills, D? They put up 10. 10. On the road, though. Across the country. You like the Bills, D, to better? A Bills team, to a Bills D. team that got embarrassed by losing to an Aaron rodgers Let's Let's Jets team. They were gassed up. They were coming off a win against Denver. I don't know. It's a, it, 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 this is a tough one because so I don't Vegas? trust. I don't trust the offensive coordinator for Pittsburgh. I don't think Vegas has a defense at all. If Pittsburgh's going to get right offensively, this is probably the week it's going to happen because these guys aren't going to do anything Hopefully defensively. Um, so I'm going Pitt. I'm going to go Pittsburgh. Flip. Oh, uh, changed it. My, uh, I didn't ever pick. I'm just explaining what's the, the matchup here. Oh, that's right. That's um, right. I didn't pick anything. Um, Next game. Let's see. Uh, Monday night double header. Philly at Tampa. You mm. keep selling me Tampa here. I got Philly. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Well, Philly's D is suspect. Um, I would agree with that. Tampa's D is not suspect. Tampa's D is legit. They're healthy. And when they were healthy, they were elite. They are elite. Philly's mm. got five new stars on defense. And Baker mm. Mayfield looks like the Baker Mayfield that took Cleveland to the playoffs and won a game. Mm. Not the guy that was playing with a separated shoulder and, and gotten it out. and he's, instead of He's played dog he's, shit teams. Uh, so, so what? Normally he doesn't he's do So what? He, he, normally he didn't do that against dog shit teams either. He's looked That's good. That's not true. He's looked good. He has had games in the past. Where Two years good. ago. Last year he came back and led the Rams to a fucking I'm meaningless saying, game. I don't think Baker's as bad as you think he is. I don't think he's terrible. He's but not terrible. Philly is going to eat them up. Yes. I think Tampa's D is going to surprise Philly. Right. You going Tampa in this game? No, I'm going Philly. 
But I think it's going to be close. <laughs> I love how you throw that in there. The I do. I think it's going to be a one score game. I'll right. bet you I'm right. I think it's going to be close. Yeah, it's gonna be close. Um, I think it's the gonna second be one. What's this crap? What are you? Get out of here. If it's a one score game the way it was last week with Minnesota, that's barely a one score game. Dude, Tampa beat Minnesota. In Minnesota. What's the uh, second Monday night game? The Rams at Cincinnati. Now, this is interesting. Um, I know who I'm picking. We don't know. this. Do we know the status of Joe Burrow yet? No, I, I know it well enough to know I'm not picking them. Um, Whether he plays or not. See, I don't know if he's going to play. If he plays, I'm picking them. If he doesn't play, I'm picking the Rams. I think it's a mistake if he plays. They he was go. limping like shit at the end of that game. can't go 0-3. Yeah, he doesn't play. They're going 0-3. Yeah, you're right. They're going 0-3. Um, I think they're going on three. Period. I don't know about that. Aaron Donald. Usually, they, but they didn't. They they look. They lost. Well, they played San Fran tough. Um, but yeah, they lost by a score. Mm. Well, that, it was ten points. And they that, fucking that dominated kick, that, Seattle that, that in goal, Seattle. That field goal kick at the end was was point shaving. Mm. That was point shaving. That was, I forgot about that. That was point shaving. All right, still uh, ten points. Um, they put up twenty on them. Um. Beat Seattle. Beat really, the brakes really, off Seattle. This really Seattle. comes down to to the status of Burrow. If Burrow plays, I'm going Cincinnati. If he doesn't play, I'm going with the Rams. You are picking now. I'm picking Cincinnati, assuming he's playing. But if he doesn't play, what do we find out Monday? He doesn't go. You can't change your pick. Well, I'm not picking it based on him not playing. <laughs> I'm picking it based on him playing. I do. Damn it. Because I'd be what if first of all, play? if you if, if you pick? if Who I cares? know right now Joe Burrow's not going to play. I'm picking the Rams, but I don't I'm, know. I'm picking them because he wasn't right last game. He threw for three touchdowns. <laughs> and they uh, lost by three uh, to Baltimore, who, by the way, Baltimore lost. right now is the second best team in the AFC. They haven't even played well yet. No, but they're good. The they're fucking, good. who else hasn't played well and they're winning? KC. The Eagles. The Eagles. The Eagles? The Eagles haven't played well, no. and they're 2-0. and yep. So... I'm saying that Baltimore has a ceiling here that they won last week without Odell right. Beckham. Yeah. He, he was out and they won. So, again, they were right there with them. They so, haven't figured out how to unlock that offense yet. No, but and then J.K. Dobbins to me, New yeah, they lost their start running back in week one. Yeah, but they, they, for the past, like, three years, that's what's happened. That always happens to them. They get banged up. Can, can ball- Dobbins was yeah. – I think Dobbins played four games last year. The year yeah. before that, he tore his ACL or whatever. That kid's got to help. Yeah. Anyway, that is our show for this week. Um, you enjoy the football this week, and we will return early next week, probably Tuesday or Wednesday, whenever he does have to go into the office, probably Tuesday night. Um, but until then, you enjoy the football. Hey, by the way, big mm-hmm. games on Saturday, three of them real quick. Um, you've got, in the afternoon, you've got Colorado at Oregon, big one. 7.30, no. you've got Notre Dame hosting Ohio State. And also in the afternoon, you've got Alabama and Old Miss. So ranked battles, three Donnies right there. So enjoy the football. Um, mm. I'm pulling for the Irish. They got a real quarterback for the first time in 30 years, it seems. And uh, it's going to be a hell of a game against Ohio State. So enjoy Not the football. The That's the 730 game. Yeah. Um, so you guys enjoy the football. We'll see you next week for the Dad of himself. Happy birthday, brother. Thanks, dude. Again, the highly questionable Audrey Miliaccio. You guys enjoy the weekend. Hey, it's Frothal Friday, and we are here. We are weekend bound. So go forth, drive fast, make take chances, okay, and have, have a good time. We will see you in a couple of weeks. No, a couple of days. A couple of weeks, dear God. God, Yoda. A fortnight? Yoda. 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 A fortnight, son.